Okay, so in this problem we're told, given the acceleration of gravity at the surface of Mars is 0.38 of what it is on Earth, and that Mars radius is 3,400 kilometers, determine the mass of Mars. So uh, we're given some information here. We're given the radius of Mars is 3,400 kilometers. So we're told that. And then we're also told the acceleration due to gravity on Mars, right, m, is equal to 0.38 of the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. So this person is going to experience 0.38 of what they would experience on Earth. So how are we going to do this? So the first thing you need to know to solve this problem is the formula for the force due to gravity. So the formula f of g, force due to gravity, is g, which is uh, the gravitational constant. It's just a constant value multiplied by m1, m2, which are your two masses, divided by the radius squared. So the way this works is if you have two objects, imagine these are our two objects, where r is the distance between them, and one has m1, m2, the force due to gravity that they're going to experience as the result of the other one is going to be this formula here. So hopefully that makes sense. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and solve this now. So uh, keep in mind, this is the formula for it. So if we wanted to find the force due to gravity on Earth, right, it would be this formula. So we would call it f of g on e, like f, uh, force due to gravity on the Earth, multiplied by g, uh, and then your two objects. So what are the two objects in this case? So one is going to be the person, one is going to be the Earth, right? So those are our two objects. So we have m e, and then we'll call it m, m, we'll call it m, we'll just call it m, right? So mass of whatever our object is divided by r squared. So this is the force due to gravity on Earth. We also know the force, uh, you know, you should know that the force due to gravity is equal just to ma, right? So mass times acceleration. Uh, and then what we're trying to figure out is uh, the uh, radius, right? So we know ma equals, right? This is the ac uh, acceleration on Earth. So we'll call it me or ae for acceleration on Earth is me m over r squared. So if we divide, notice m is the mass of our object. In this case, uh, it's the person, right? So this mass was the mass of the person, and same as this mass. So these will basically cancel. And you have the formula for the acceleration an object is going to experience on Earth, which is just it's the gravitational constant times me divided by r squared, which is the radius of the Earth. And so what do they tell us? They tell us that uh, the acceleration due to gravity on Mars is 0.38 of this. So we call it AM for the acceleration due to gravity on Mars is 0.38 times this value, right? So this would be G M E over R squared. So this would be the formula for that. And so we know this now, and we know the mass, right? So we know the force due to gravity on, let's say Mars now, is equal to G mass of Mars times the mass of our object divided by r squared. And so once again, this is going to be m a m, right? The mass, right? F equals m a, where you have the mass of the person times the acceleration on Mars is equal to this value right here, right? So the gravity times the mass uh, of Mars times the mass of the person divided by the radius squared. So notice, though, uh, the masses will cancel again. So this is the formula for the acceleration due to gravity on Mars. It's g, the mass of Mars, uh, divided by radius squared. So it's basically the same thing as the Earth, except for the change is just the mass uh, the mass of Mars, and then the radius is obviously different because uh, the planet is not the same size. Um, but now we have two formulas, one for the mass uh, or the acceleration on Mars, and then we have this one up here. So we actually have two. So if we set them equal, 0.38 times g m e over r squared, right, is equal to g m m over r squared. And so now what we can actually do is go ahead and solve this. Um, but notice that uh, these are going to cancel. I'll simplify a bit more. So basically 0.38 times the mass of Earth. Actually, let's just do it like this. The mass of Earth divided by this is the radius of the Earth squared equals the mass of Mars times the radius of Mars squared. If we multiply both sides by the radius of Mars, this will give us our answer. So 
doing this out a bit, the mass of Mars is equal to 0.38 times the mass of the Earth multiplied by the radius of Mars squared divided by the radius of Earth squared. So notice how we did that. All we did was basically figure out the formula for the acceleration on Mars, right, an object's going to experience uh, relative to Earth, right, 0.38. And then we just use the formula for basically just finding it just like we did for Earth, but for Mars. And then we just set them equal. And then you could actually just go ahead and solve for uh, the mass of Mars. So the key thing is really just knowing this formula here, the force due to gravity uh, is this formula. And then F equals MA, obviously. And then you can solve for the acceleration. And then just set them equal. So pretty simple here. We just need to plug in the values. So 0.38. Uh, and then we're going to need some values here. So they say at what distance from the Earth, or sorry, uh, the radius. So we need the mass of the Earth, which is 5.98 times 10 to the 24. Just ignore what I was saying. I don't know what I was doing. Well, divided by the radius of Mars, which they tell us is, uh, they give us the value in the problem. It is 3,400 kilometers. So this is basically 3,400 times 10 to the 3 meters. Because keep in mind, there's 1,000 meters, which is 10 times, or 10 to the 3. So that's how we get that. And then we need the radius of the Earth, which, uh, let me just look up here real quick. Radius of Earth. I don't have that value memorized. Sorry about that. In meters. Uh, so the radius of the Earth in meters is 6.38 times 10 to the 6. So, uh, and then obviously this value is squared. And so if you look here, all you got to do is just plug this in. So let me go ahead and do that. 0.38 times 5.98 times 10 to the 24. Uh, and then you're multiplying this by 3,400 times 10 to the 3 squared. Divide that by 6.38 6 times 10 to the 6 squared. Uh, make sure this is right. Yep. And then multiply them. You will get an answer of right here. 6.45 times 10 to the 23. Uh, and then we're dealing with mass, so it's kilograms. So... 6.45 times 10 to the 23 kilograms. Uh, that's going to go ahead and be your answer. Let me just check it on Google. So we have the mass of Mars. Yeah, so they got 6.39 times 10 to the 23. Uh, we basically got the same thing, but keep in mind our answer is rounded because we don't use the exact values. So theirs is a little bit more accurate. Uh, but yeah, so it's basically, uh, basically that. So 6.45 times 10 to the 23 is what I got. Keep in mind when I look it up, 6.39 is the actual value, uh, but they're basically the same. And uh, yeah, so just keep in mind how we did this. Uh, just pretty simple. You need to know this formula, set them equal to each other, and then notice everything just canceled out so we can solve for uh, the mass of Mars. So uh, yeah, so this is going to go ahead and be your answer. And hopefully you found this video useful.